I took a pocket knife, cut some uh, pine needles off a tree, and laid it on top of the mall to kind of form a bed. From his hospital bed, truck driver Jacob Cartwright talks about how he survived for days in the eastern Oregon wilderness. Hello, Nina has the night off. I'm Pat Doris. His truck got stuck last week after he took a wrong turn. KGW's Rachel Raffinelli is here in the studio to fill us in. It's quite a story. Pat, it really is. You know, the 22-year-old says that all he could think about was his wife and kids, which is why Oregon State Police say he was able to walk about 14 miles in the wilderness. No food, no jacket. Well, look at this. You know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. This tattoo on his arm is his life's motto as 22-year-old truck driver Jacob Cartwright recovers in the hospital from a journey that will stick with him forever. Hurting, a lot of pain. Uh, feels like everything in my body is just about broken. Tuesday, the trucker says he left Portland with a load full of potato chips bound for the Idaho border. But he says he accidentally punched in the wrong address into the GPS and somehow ended up stuck in the snow on this remote Forest Service road. With no cell service and no way to move the truck, he decided to walk for help. He left the chips, his only source of food, behind. I'm not going to touch someone else's product. To me, that's stealing. He says his few bottles of water were gone almost immediately, and with no jacket at nights, he used pine needles as a bed and blanket. And I literally slept like this. I had my hat kind of tucked over my face like that. That's how I tried to stay warm. He says during the day, he trudged through snow in his yeah. cowboy boots. And I was just eating snow during the day. Uh, just trying to stay hydrated. Police say he walked about 14 miles until Saturday morning. He flagged down a car near La Grande where he lives. The driver brought him home into the arms of his wife. And she just grabbed me and hugged me and uh, told me she thought I was dead. And uh, I told her, I said, you ain't get rid of me that easy. Boss Roy Henry, you. who's visiting him in the hospital, is just as relieved after searching for him since he went missing on Tuesday. I had insurance to cover the truck, the trailer, and the load. I did not have insurance to cover human life. No amount of insurance covers that. And, you know, just getting him home and is, is what it's all about. Oh, yes, it is. Cartwright has two young kids, a third on the way. He says, yes, he's got a lot to live for. You can hear more of his story tomorrow on KGW News at Sunrise and the Today Show. Pat. Well, thanks, Rachel. That guy's got some serious grit. Well, it was a weekend.